Hello guys from us at Daniele Inc. This is Ellie. And I'm Daniel. Moving forward, you can expect to see these videos on a regular basis, twice a month. We'll be sending you guys information in every video discussing internal Daniele updates, as well as industry changes and news. If there's anything in these videos that you can uh, benefit from, but we did not cover, please let us know. Reach out to us with any questions or anything that you would like to know and for us to cover extra in the next video. Guys, I wanted to start uh, this first video talking about uh, the operations and in the industry in general, kind of what's going on. Because as we know, it's affected all of us and we feel it, um, especially now in the most recent weeks. Current freight rates are not what they used to be a few months ago and even a few weeks ago. As a matter of fact, they are dropping um, every week as we speak. So a quick update right now, the freight rates on average for reefer are anywhere from $3 to $3.20 a mile, all depending on the area. That does not mean that every load will be between $3 and $3.20 a mile. On average, that is the price range. There might be some lanes that you would definitely see lower than $3 a mile. Um, it is possible to see higher than $3.20 a mile. When it comes to the dry van, we're looking at anywhere from $2 to $2.50 a mile on average. However, again, you can see lower than $2 a mile um, even more if you're trying to go home on a specific day, it would be more difficult to find a load within a specific rate per mile that you want. Especially now, we cannot expect to get the same rates that we were able to get three to four months ago or that we have been getting in the past couple of years. Um, unfortunately, the rates have down significantly from the past months. All the way from January coming down now to April, we have seen a drop every month more and more um, with 10 to 15 cents a mile, if not more in many regions. Unfortunately, when the prices have gone down, we have seen an increased uh, price when it comes to diesel. Without getting too political, we know that this is due to what is going on overseas. However, we cannot control that. What we must control is what's going on internally and um, based on our control. So we want you guys to understand that we do not control the rates and we do not control the diesel. What we can do is provide you guys with the best resources possible that are available to increase and decrease uh, revenue and costs. So we encourage you guys to definitely utilize the fuel card that we have provided you with. Um, we have all given you the app and login information to see in a specific area the discounts that you guys can get um, as well as you can pre-plan based on the fuel prices. So if you guys don't understand that or you don't know how to get to that, I know I've spoken to a lot of you, please give me a call and we can definitely go over that. But the discounts all go back to you guys 100%. We sent you the fuel uh, uh, statement every week so you can see what you're getting. We see a lot of you are not utilizing the app to the best of your ability and you're really missing out on uh, hundreds of dollars of savings. So please look at that. If you can't access it or have any issues, please reach out to me directly and I would definitely be glad to help you with that. And just to add quickly to what Daniel just said, uh, just to summarize what he actually discussed is we have to stay open-minded. We have to adapt. Unfortunately, like he said, there are things we cannot control. What we can control is internally. Having said that, as I reached out to many of you individually, you guys know that we are doing absolutely our best to help you in a reasonable manner with whatever we can here at Danielli. So that brings us to the recent change we just made to your statement pay week, which was extended with a day. So before your statement pay week was, as you all, probably all of you know, is Tuesday to Monday cut off at midnight. Right now we extended that with a day. So what we did is we actually added another load on your statement, another day on your statement without charging you guys for an extra day of fueling. So if you still fuel on a Tuesday, that will be charged to your statement on the next week. So that gives you guys some room for financial help, if we can call it that. On top of that, guys, as you all know, we're here to help with any breakdowns, with any maintenance, um, anything that we can do, we set specific funds aside to be able to help the owner operators and driver partners so that you guys have a back and have a shoulder to lean on, as they say. So um, whatever we can do to help, 
we will do let it. Let us know. Um, of course. I wanted to say one last thing, guys, before we wrap up this video. A lot of you have been sending referrals our way for uh, drivers, owner operators, fleet owners. We've been getting a lot of applications in the past couple weeks, which would not be possible if it wasn't for you guys. So first of all, thank you to those who have been, um, you know, referring business to us. However, one thing I wanted to address is that we are extremely picky with who we put on under our authority as a driver. Um, we do not want to hire just anybody. We do not want to hire anybody who's not, um, who does not have the same vision as us here and other drivers within Daniele. Yes, everybody is in this business to make money, but at the end of the day, safety, relationships, and um, a good partnership is what we're looking at. So, you know, whenever you guys are talking to your friends or fellow truckers, please mention that, um, you know, it is not guaranteed that they will be approved uh, based on insurance, based on their driving record, based on, um, you know, if we don't feel comfortable working them based on the conversation we have, we won't be able to hire them. So again, thank you guys for all the referrals. Please remember all of you do get bonuses, refer bonuses for referring drivers, uh, but we will not hire just anybody. We wanna keep the company safe and compliant, and we wanna make sure that you guys are also safe and compliant, because as we all know, it takes one accident, one bad driver, um, you know, violations to kind of create a mess for everybody. So again, thank you guys. If there is anything that you want to see, like we said, moving forward, please reach out to us and we will be in touch and uh, you'll see us again soon. Thank you everybody and just stay tuned. In two weeks, we'll provide you with another informational video discussing different topics, anything that has happened over the last couple of weeks um, and anything we see that might be beneficial to you guys as our business partners.